In this tutorial video, we're going to look at adding monsters or enemies to our game. So in the last video, we looked at dealing with collisions with a player object in the wall. So you can see on screen that I have um, a sprite that I've created for my enemy or my monster. So the first thing I need to do is to allocate that sprite to an object so I can do something with it. So um, take you through that process one more time. So we're going to go to objects. I'm going to create a, a new object, so create object obj underscore monster. Okay, so then my monster's been created. I'm going to allocate a sprite to my um, to my uh, object for my monster. So I'm going to click there, sprites, and there's my monster. Okay, so currently I've got my monster. So let's put him in the world. So we're going to go on to the, um, the uh, room and I'm going to drag my monster and I'm going to have my monster with uh, um, being able to choose movement in four different directions. So um, I'm going to put it somewhere where it can go up, down, left or right. In order to understand how the monster is going to move around, you first need to understand uh, what uh, we mean by um, directions and how directions are used in um, GameMaker. So I'm going to show you a picture. So on the screen you can see um, angles. So when we're dealing with um, with movement in or directions in GameMaker, we're always talking about the angles in which it moves. So the only angles that you need to be concerned with in this game is if you want to go right, then the direction is zero. If you want your character to go up, then the direction is 90. If you want the character to go left, then the the the, um, the angle is 180. And if you want the character the character to move down, then the angle is 270. So we're dealing with those four numbers: 0, 90, 180, and 270. Okay. If um, I want to reverse my character, then I'm only uh, I'm changing it by by 180 degrees. Okay. So for example, if um, I wanted to, if my character was moving to the right, okay, and I wanted to, to make it go the other way, then I'd, I'd subtract 180 degrees from that to make it go um, left. Okay, so uh, that's how we use directions. So remember these numbers 0, 90 for up, 180 for left, and 270 for down, because we're going to use them in a minute. So if I play my game, okay you should be able to see that I have my monster on in, on screen. However, uh, it's not doing anything, okay? The monster's not moving, uh, and I can move through the monster. So that's not quite right. We need to do something with that. So we need to do something, uh, create an event to, to move the monster around. So let's close the game down, and let's go back to the workspace. So let's look at the events, okay? So what I want, I don't want to be using the keys to move. So in the past, we've used the key down, and we've uh, we've uh, moved characters using the key down. I want to move it automatically. So what I want to do, or what I need to do, is to set movement when the object is created. Okay, so you can see here we have a create uh, a create event. Okay, which is this one here. So we're going to use a create event to give the monster random movement at the start, and we're going to be using pre-built function. So a function is a piece of code. Um, that has a name, and when we call it, it uh, it, it runs um, some some code um, for that object. So I'm going to use the create um, event, and here I'm just going to give my uh, um, my comments. So this is going to be uh, give the monster random movement. Okay. Um, one other thing to remember about movement, you have to give, um, you have to allocate a movement, a direction, and a speed. Okay, so we're going to give the, the monster random movement and speed. Otherwise, it um, it won't move at all. If you can give it a random movement, a direction, but if you don't set a speed for it, then the monster won't move. So this is where we're going to be doing our first um, piece of uh, of. of more complex code. So we want to set the direction. Okay, so when we want to set the direction of something, we use the um, the inbuilt function direction. 
Okay, so you can see it's a built-in variable. So direction equals. So we want to set the direction. So we've got four possible directions that we can choose from. We've got 0, 90, 180, 270. So remember, 0 is to the right, 90 is up, 180 is left, and 270 is down. So I want to choose between those values. Now, luckily, there's a function called choose. So I'm going to put choose. I'm going to open a bracket. And then I'm going to list my numbers. So it's 0, comma, 90, comma, 180, comma, 270, comma. And I'm going to close, nope, not comma, sorry. Then I'm going to close the bracket. Every line you write, unless it's in an if statement, um, needs to be closed with a semicolon. So I'm going to close with the semicolon. Enter. Okay, so that now is choosing my direction. But I need to set a speed. So let's go speed. Because that's another inbuilt uh, variable. Equals. Let's set it for now to 2. Okay. Let's see what happens when I run that now. So I've given my... Um, character my monster on create it's going to set a random direction which is going to choose from 0 90 180 270 so one of those four values and it's going to set the speed at 2 so let's play the game and see what happens so you can see now that my monster has gone to the right at a 2 speed okay so but we've got a problem the fact it's gone through the wall um, we'll look at that in a minute um, so that's the speed set at 2. Let's set the speed at 5 and see what happens there. You should know that that will increase the speed. Boom, straight away. Okay, so that is setting my random direction but with a con constant speed. So what I want to do, rather than using this, I want to set a random um, speed value. Okay, and I want to select between a range. So between one and six, okay, that uh, of speed. So one will make it very slow, six will make it very fast. So when the monsters start moving, then they're going to um, to um, move at a, at a random speed. You'll notice that when you actually start the game, um, when you actually load up uh, the um, game maker, it generates random numbers. So when you're choosing. 0, 90, 180, and 270, it will always choose the same one unless you randomize it at the start. And that's not a problem, okay? And it's nothing to be concerned about because when the object or when the monster collides with the wall, we're going to change the direction anyway, okay? So let's have a look at how we set this random speed. We use an inbuilt function called uh, iRandomRange, okay? Which iRandom means integer random range. So it's going to choose, it's going to choose a whole number within a certain range. So it's iRandom underscore range. Okay, open a bracket. It's now asking me, if you look at the bottom, it's always helping you down here. So iRandom range, x1, x2. So that's, what's the lowest value and what's the highest value that you want? So I want the lowest value to be one, comma, and the highest value to be six. And again, I'm going to close with a semicolon. Okay, so to recap, so we've got direction. We're going to set the direction, and we're going to choose from 0, which is right, 90, which is up, 180, which is left, and 270, which is down. And then we're going to set the speed to a random number, I random range, between 1 and 6. Okay? So let's run that, see what happens. Okay? So we set the random speed. Right. So that's fine. We've got that working uh, as as we want. What we want to do now is to work out what happens when the monster collides with the wall. Okay, so let's have a little look at that. So we're going to go on to um, add an extra event and we're going to uh, do a collision event again. So we're going to select collision. And we're going to select objects and we're going to check what happens when the monster collides with the wall. The first thing I'm going to do is to put my comments in to describe what's going on. 
So I'm going to set um, reverse direction when colliding with the wall. Okay. So in order to reverse the direction, all I need to do is to take off uh, or, or to subtract 180 from the current direction. So I'm going that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to look at the, the new value of direction, which is obviously don't forget the inbuilt variable, is going to be is going to be equal to the old value of direction or the current value of direction minus 180. So what that's going to do, that's going to subtract 180 from the current direction and that's going to make it the new value of direction. So that's going to reverse. So if it's going left, 180 um, in the opposite direction would be um, right. If it's going right, 180 in the opposite direction is going to be left. If it's going up, 180 in the opposite direction is going to be down. And if it's going down, obviously 180 in the opposite direction is going to be up. So I'm going to put a semicolon on the end. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with speed. I'm going to set speed equals i random underscore range. I'm going to open a bracket and I'm going to choose between one and six as I did last time. Okay, and then I'm going to close down that um, uh, that line with the semicolon. I uh, just want to show you one thing as well, by the way. If I do, if I make a spelling mistake, okay. That's uh, in, an incorrect um, sort of statement. So it doesn't know what PED means, okay? Like that, because I'm missing the S off the front of it. It's giving me an exclamation mark. So it's telling me that there's an error. And if I try and um, run the game, it comes up, okay? And it um, does run, but you can see that my speed is not uh, a random speed. It's uh, as it's going back and forth, it's bouncing at the same speed. So it's carrying across the old speed from the original um, create event. So um, you have to be careful that you um, that you don't make mistakes. It tells you when you make a mistake. It may even be that when you try and compile it, it comes up with an error and says that it can't run. So debugging is a really important thing. So keep, make sure you keep an, an eye out for uh, errors in this column here as you're writing statements it'll be an error anyway because it, if it doesn't make any sense to the to the to the program then it won't work so if i press put an s back in front of, of that you'll notice that uh and i click off it you can see now that the um this that's now working fine okay the exclamation mark has gone so um so let's let's run that and try it so what you should see now when it hits the wall on the other side it gives it a random speed with a bit of luck. There we go. So that's a slower speed than it was going across the first time. Let's see what speed it comes across with when it goes onto the other side. Okay. There we go. So that's a random speed. So I'm going to just have my um, um, monster just changing direction back and forth. So initially it's going to be set up, down, left, right, one of those different directions, and then it's going to reverse when it hits the wall. There is another way in which you could randomize the actual direction uh, all the time. So if I did uh, the same as I did in the first one, so I'm going to choose from 0, 90, 180, 270. So that's going to choose between one of those four values. Let's put my spaces in to make it consistent. Spaces doesn't, don't really matter to be honest, it's just to help to, to read the code. So this is gonna choose my direction again, the same as I did the first time. If I run the game again now, what I should find is when it collides with the wall, it'll go in a different direction. And when it hits the top, it'll go in a different direction. And when it hits the next wall, a different direction, okay? So that's a way of generating random movement as well, and random speed. But I'm just gonna keep it so as um, it, um, it reverses direction when it hits the wall. Okay, so in the next video, uh, we're going to look at what happens when uh, our player object collides with the monster because at the moment it does nothing. Okay, so that's going to be the next tutorial video.